I hope everyone's doing well. Today is Tuesday, reset day. That means another nightfall. This one is the Inverted Spire. It's been around since Destiny 2 has come out. And everyone's had a lot of opportunity to run this. And now that we have mods, we are going to run Heavyweight. This is going to be a nightfall that will be completely murdered this week. All the speed running that's going to be taking place. The challenge is just one facing the boss with literally every weapon in your arsenal. So I'm running Stormcaller and the Luna Faction boots, only just for the boss at the end. Darcy is a great weapon to go with. You can just kind of stand in the back of the room and it's really good on your way down. Just clearing out a few of the, the bigger enemies in each room. So make sure you have empowerment and it doesn't really matter. Any other weapon is fine. It's all going to work. But Darcy's really a excellent choice to go with just because of the excellent damage and you get 23 rounds. To get on your sparrow right there, um, as you're entering the little aura, make sure you hit tab to get your oh, sorry uh, make sure you get your ghost out as you're going through and you just got to get on your sparrow really quickly so this is my first load in and you know we've been doing this for a long time so I know it really well you know I probably will be doing this lots trying different things be nice to see if I can one phase them with a regular shotgun at the end I'm sure it's possible with those Luna faction boots I think I'll upload this video to YouTube and then go right back in and give it a go but it's kind of nice to get a nice commentary safe approach video up so best way just come on up to this ledge up here and you just gun down everything. Darcy's great because you can just, you know, one shot those guys whenever you can get a crit. So having an arc scout, especially with explosive rounds, because you don't get damage fall off when you have a weapon with explosive rounds. The inaugural dress, I'm sure, would be fantastic up here as well, just because of kill clip. The enemies are not that far away. So this is a nonchalant run. And you get a lot of heavy from all the ads as well. So especially when you have you know your elemental damage weapon, you just gun down everything. And you don't need to expel heavy like rockets or anything like that if you're gonna run rockets. I just find in, instead of using rockets at the end, um, you'll have a little more control with a sniper standing at the back of the room because it is dangerous running rockets and and for them to really be effective you got to hit them with every shot and normally when you're running rockets you're right up front on the stage with them and he kind of like moves around a little bit so it's real easy to blow a rocket by him and then you're into possibly a third phase at the bottom So just skip all this part of course and I'll show you a real safe approach to this next area up here with the huts. Now if you're going to speed run it you would just literally jump right into that hut there right on the right, take out the guy and then go right down to the docks of the second guy. That gladiator, his soft spot's right on the back, that shiny 
um, part, the glow in the dark part on his back is a, is a crit along with his head. So I take him out first. That's the first thing I do. I go up on top of the hut and then I come over here. And then when you have Darcy, you just take down the guy's shield and then just start sniping him till you get him. And then go in and get your heavy. Just be careful, if you don't take that guy out, his shield is deadly. So, make sure you juke him. Alright, just come back right up top here, and there's the second guy. Break his shield, Darcy. Now he's standing right behind that little railing. And my shots don't register there, so I just kind of make a slight adjustment. But super easy, no risk involved. Now this knife fall drop, it might be the sniper. I don't get it um, this run, but I've gotten this knife falls drop before. I think it is the snipe, or or yeah, it's the sniper. This part you can kill everything if you wish, but I would just hold on to your heavy. Just run around until your timer's up. And I'm just fooling around. There's no need to kill anything. You can just run around and just do laps. Just fooling around. So when you do go up this vent here, make sure it's um, you don't leave too early. Like if you leave at 97%, sometimes you'll hit that door before it comes down. So make sure you just leave at 100% and the door's down and you're, you're golden. When you sparrow through, make sure you juke at the bottom so that you don't get fall damage. You'll, like you'll, you'll die from your sparrow blowing up. Sparrow past everything. Get a little off track. So this part, I use my Darcy from back of the room, lay down my rift, and just start going to town on the boss. I missed my first shot, and, and that really kind of like could have just one face him. I, I think it would have happened if I didn't miss my first shot or two. So with Darcy, you just cause so much damage that you can just take him out right here. I have a super, and I have a lot of Darcy left, so just hit him with crit. Done! That's how easy this strike is. But doing the little techniques that I do, say at the huts, that's um, you know a safe way of doing it. And sort of the, the skipping parts, they work every time. Alright guys, my family's just coming in through the door there. Thank you very much for your time, and have fun with this week's Nightfall. Talk to you later.